What's up, suckers? Well, after 17 years of multiboxing with key cloning software, Blizz suddenly banned the use of input broadcasting software that mirrors keystrokes to multiple WoW game clients. So that left a lot of us who still like to multibox in a sad position until we thought about it for a day or so and realized, well, we don't actually need to key clone anymore. What we can do is we can just um, make the windows swap every time we press a key. And so one key goes to directly from our keyboard to one window. And the windows simply take turns receiving a key round robin style. And thus round robin multiboxing was born. So today I wanna test three free solutions for round robin multiboxing that are out there. None of this is very popular yet, but um, hopefully if you look at the options that are out there, you might realize, yeah, I think I can do this. So the first one is WoW Cyclotron. This is from a guy on my Discord server named DJ, and you can download it by going to my Discord server, going to the helper apps for retail, and clicking on the WoW Cyclotron GitHub, or you can go directly to GitHub and just search for WoW Cyclotron. Go ahead and open up the zip file, and it's just a standalone exe that you can just drag and drop somewhere on your computer. I'm just putting it on my desktop. And once you do get it out there, uh, you just double click it and figure out how the window launching goes. In this case, you simply press the launch WoW windows, and however many boxes that you selected in the number of boxes chat window, dialog box, I should say, um, is how many boxes DJ will pop for you. Now, this is the, the bad part. Uh, you do have to fill in the login and password by yourself. And for me, that is a tragedy of a huge proportions because I'm such a terrible typist. And um, this is sped up, by the way. This me filling in these dialogues is sped up 4x to get through this just for this video. Um, it's very unpleasant, and um, it is one of the things that um, is a knock against, you know, multi-boxing systems that don't actually uh, log you in and open the windows. But once you are in, um, you only have to go through that, you know, the one time when you start logging in. So, you know, grin and bear it and get in. And you can see I've got hotkeys defined. Uh, F1 through F5, the, the number keys on the keyboard. Um, I need more than that. So I'm going to add a few keys like F. The F key is my interact with target. And um, maybe I'll add my character screen open key. Um, basically, any key you put in here is going to cause the window focus to cycle to the next window. So I form a party, I jump into, I think this is normal. I was, I was really not sure about WoW Cyclotron um, just because uh, um, I wasn't sure, you know, how fast it'd be swapping or, um, um, you know, how the, the keys were going to work. So I went in on a normal, um, which was way too easy for my gear as you're about to see but um, it's still a good test of WoW Cyclotron. Um, I, you, you can see the keys I'm pressing. I buff on Control-1, and so your window swapping system is either going to swap on Control-1 or not swap on Control-1. It doesn't really matter. If it doesn't swap on Control-1, well, you simply buff in one window, uh, mouse click another window, buff in another window, and, um, and deal with it that way. Um, otherwise, you um, you buff by swapping. So jump right into the packs, and you can see I'm on the three key, which is uh, multi-target ranged, and uh, that pack went just fine. So the next pack, the Corpse Harvester, um, this pack is you know is a challenge on on the harder difficulties, and the pack behind it and to the left is a big challenge. But 
I found no issue with the um, with the perkiness of the window swapping. The windows seem to be swapping nice and fast. You can kind of look at the key presses happening uh, and kind of count to yourself, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and see uh, how many how many key presses per second I'm getting in each window because that has a big bearing on uh, how much DPS you do, um, how, how quickly you recover from... Uh, adverse situations. So since this is normal, I'm going to just jump up here and do a massive AOE. I'm hitting the four key, which is my burst button, and the five key, which is my AOE button. So dropping the, uh, the, the blizzards and the rains of fire down on the poor unsuspecting normals. And they melt away like it was nothing. But um, yeah, my Frost Mage isn't doing that great DPS here. And my Elemental Shaman just never really does very good AoE DPS. I'm not, I'm not too happy about Elemental Shaman's AoE. But I accidentally pulled the boss! So now we're testing WoW Cyclotron. We have an unexpected boss pull, and I'm like, screw this, this is normal, I'm just doing it. And so uh, he pops worms, and I turn around and target the worms. And uh, unfortunately, because my my keyboard um, register is just right there in the upper right, you cannot really see the health of my tunes. But I am suffering some damage here, so I haven't I haven't given everybody even soul uh, health stones, but it goes really well. And um, did I did I um, do bloodlust? Yes, I did. So I did pop bloodlust. And I just yellowed it, and um, yeah, on normal, this was not really a fair shake. I thought I would do um, normal on WoW Cyclotron, and then Heroic on the next one, and, and, and Mythic on the next one. But after I saw this, I thought, ah, we'll just do Mythic on, on the rest of them. Um, and so... Blightbone is down with WoW Cyclotron, and... You can see I did do some healing, okay? But I did feel like the healing was a little unresponsive. Um, I was, I was, my heals are on the F1 to F5 key, and um, I, I felt like I had to stop pressing my DPS key. Um, so, all right, so we're all done. You can, uh, there's a nice button that comes with WoW Cyclotron where you can close all the windows and boom. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good button. I like that button. Okay, so we're going to go into WoW Open Box next. WoW Open Box is kind of like WoW Cyclotron on steroids. It has um, a, a lot more um, GUI programming behind it. So head over to GitHub to the WoW Open Box and make sure you go to the release section and download the latest release. Um, and it comes with two exe files, not just one. So I'm going to just drag these exe files onto the desktop. And the one of the exe files is called RR. That means round robin. That's the one you want. It actually opens up the other exe file too when you do open it. So this one looks, as you can see, this one looks a little more complicated. Oh, it's putting numbers on the screen. Those numbers are actually window numbers. They're going to stay there. They're going to be on top of the windows while you're playing to remind you which window is which. So the way you open WoW with WoW Open Box, uh, the easiest way to do it, I guess, is to go to the Blizzard Launcher. Make sure you're logged in. I guess I'm not logged in. Um, and go ahead and click on the game options on the Blizzard Launcher, the gear button, and go to game settings. Um, and if, at the bottom of the app settings, you'll notice you can say allow multiple instances of Battle.net. Now, I don't know if that's really necessary or not, but I selected it and I was able to um, launch several different instances of WoW um, under different licenses. And I don't think that was possible before. I think you do have to click that button. 
So here I go. I'm just going to keep launching. Let me move this down a little bit. I'm going to keep launching all. I'm launching in the order that I want. And then, and then I go over to that capture button. And as soon as a window forms, I just hit capture. And that's the, that's the next window in WoW open box. I'm launching in the order that I want my tunes to be while I'm in game, the order that I'm used to. Now, here's the great thing. You've got this incredible layout window, this layout gadget that you can uh, change the setup, you can change the orientation of windows, you can change the aspect ratio of the windows. Um, you can change whether they're on the side or kind of wrapped around the edge of the window. Um, it's it's amazing. This is like nothing I've seen in a multiboxing software system ever. This is so hard. This code is so hard to do. And uh, this guy did it. Uh, his name's Morea TV, and he actually is the author of a few popular add-ons uh, for WoW. And this one, it, this this window setup thing is impressive. I'm I'm gonna try to steal it if I can. Um, but anyway, so as you're popping windows in the order that you want them to um, uh, to appear on the screen, you just keep hitting that capture button after each window comes up. This is all very intuitive. I did not read. I did not read any documentation about this. I just tried to figure it out by myself. And yeah, uh, it was not hard. It seemed very obvious what I had to do. So uh, uh, intuit, intu, intuitiveness is something I really like in systems like this. Um, I don't want them to be obtuse or hard to figure out. Otherwise, people won't use them. Now, this is important. There is a round robin checkbox and there's a round robin keys dialog just like in WoW open box. You do have to have that checkbox check, but you can hit control shift R to turn it off and on. And you'll need to do that in order to say type in chat and stuff like that. You have to turn round robin off. Now notice when round robin on is on, there is a little swirly red arrow. Look on the um, look on the World of Warcraft Shadowlands um, page there, and just above the just above the drudge, there's a little circular arrow. That means round robin is on. It's very helpful to have that overlay. Um, and notice that the number on the main window right now has turned red. That means that window is the focus, right? As you as you press the round robin buttons, you'll notice each window will have their number turn red in turn to let you know, okay, we're over at that window, we're over at that window. The next key goes to that window. Um, so here we are. Let's jump in as Mythic Zero and see if we can get something done. Dungeon difficulty. Uh, forget the heroic. Let's go Mythic. Now, we are way over gearing this dungeon. I don't want you to get guys to get the idea that you're going to roll into Necrotic Wake with your new fresh 60s and do Mythic and um, LOL all the way to the end. It's, it, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, these guys are around gear level 200, um, and so this is, this is not an issue for them. This is right in their wheelhouse. Uh, so they should do well. Okay, now whether they do well or not, you know, it kind of depends on the system. Um, and that brings up an important point. You'll notice that I already have kind of a, a macro system in place that I use to trigger things like taunts or, uh, or buffing or, you know, what spells we cast for how many targets when we do our burst, all of that stuff. All of that stuff is set up for every character. And when you first start multiboxing, that's gonna be a big part of whether you succeed or not, is how you start to set up your guys. You'll notice that when I need to do an interrupt, my interrupts are almost instant. Um, that's because everybody interrupts on the one key. And so if I do need to interrupt, 
I just tap the one key and it cycles through the windows and, um, and you get your interrupts. So um, that stuff doesn't set itself up, okay? You don't, you don't just roll into WoW having all that stuff configured. And the window swapping software we're covering right now, like uh, WoW Cyclotron and um, WoW Openbox, they don't help you with that part. You must, you must help yourself. You must set things up the way you think they should be set up. For example, healing. How are you going to do healing? You've got to think about this. Um, I put my heals on the function keys. So F1 heals the main tank. F2 heals the next guy all the way down to F5 to heal the fifth guy. Um, I'm not even limited to five guys. So if I wanted to run 10 guys, I can run 10 guys. But here you can see me healing. I'm, I am hitting the heal button. Um, you'll, anytime you see me hitting the function keys, I am healing. I'm trying to heal. And um, right now I'm just I'm realizing that I had an overpull. Sometimes this will happen. You know, you don't realize you're multiboxing. You don't realize, oh, crap. One of your, one of your um, frost mage pets, <laughs> it's always the frost mage pet. One of your frost mage pets pulled something that wasn't supposed to be pulled. And you have to recover. And yeah, we were, we were in a bit of trouble there because um, that gatekeeper was just free casting at us and we didn't even realize. So nobody died. We turned around and we opened up on the gatekeeper and we'll, we'll do this gatekeeper too and finish him up. And you can see the buttons I'm using. I use a lot of alt. What is alt? Alt is like taunt. Okay, that, that, that um, taunts my, and I use a lot of F. You notice I hit the F key a lot. F is a very important key. F is interact with target, and that makes everybody turn around. These blight bags, they jump behind you. And so instantly, everybody's behind your tank. Oh, you, you can see I'm, I'm doing some heavy healing here for Palia. Palia the mage was in deep trouble with a uh, debuff and was very close to death there. So uh, wow, open box allowed me to save her. So I'm doing control one here and buffing up some more. Uh, we're gonna do this big, nasty, one of the nastiest pulls in the game. And I'm gonna get real sloppy with it. I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna yellow it, and I don't care if we um, accidentally pull extra pat patchwork soldiers. I'm gonna try and um, just do it, but I did take some health stones. So uh, let's see how this goes. I open with two. Notice I'm not even alting. Everybody's just shooting at that guy. I'm relying on my demon hunter immolation aura to, um, to do the aggro for the group. But yeah, we are taking lots of damage and especially, um, especially me, especially the, the tank. Uh, I'm taking a ton of damage, but um, I'm going to try and F1 through it. Notice I'm hitting F1 and 5 at the same time. It had limited, it had limited effectiveness. Um, so one of the, one of the, the things about a multiboxing round robin system is, you know, what does it do when you're put pressing multiple keys at a time? Um, and for this, I think I, I think I would have saved that um, if uh, if the keys were handled um, maybe a, in a bit more advanced fashion. But uh, I got my own self in trouble. I didn't have to wipe there. Um, so WoW Open Box has a key you can press to simply make the next window the biggest window. Notice I went through each of the windows there and made each of the windows the main window to release spirit. I really like that. I have that in my own system, and uh, I think it's extremely important um, to, to have that because you use it at Flight Masters. You use it to turn in quests sometimes. Um, you use it in a lot of situations. You, uh, there are a lot of situations where you simply want to cycle through your windows, make them the main window, and 
Um, every uh, every window swap system should support that. I think WoW Cyclotron does too. I just didn't know what the key was. So sorry about that, DJ. Um, there was an interrupt that I just let go by because I don't know. Maybe my wife is talking to me right now. I'm, I'm making up some excuses here. Let's hope I don't pull the boss on this one. Uh, so this all looks really good. Um, I th we're going to... You know, the first thing you want to you wonder is, can you do Blightbone with no spear? There are three spears scattered throughout this dungeon, and the spears are like a, they're like a bloodlust, all right. And so, I, I'm I'm a little nervous about trying Blightbone without a spear here. Normally, you do you do not want to use a spear on Blightbone when you're running Mythics, um, because you need the spears on later bosses. But I just really didn't want this to fail. So I did take a spear. I will judge. I will be the judge whether we needed the spear or not after the fact. And I will let you know if we needed a spear or not. Um, so let's toss a spear at Blightbone. Everything else is okay. And we're going to hit Bloodlust. And we're going to go. Oh, geez. Look at that. He's, he's already. Oh, my goodness. Look at his health. Oh, oh, my. Oh my, my, my. What in the heck is... All right, so switch to the five key and the burst key. Um, turn around and kill those worms before they can hit you three times. If you do let the worms hit you three times, you're probably going to wipe. Um, not in this case, though. So, answer. No, we did not need... We did not need the spear, my friends. So... There you go, Mythic Boss down with WoW Open Box. Super easy, super simple. It just works, people. Um, one of the things that wasn't working for me, though, was a WoW Open Box offers you the uh, ability to not swap windows when certain keys are pressed. That did not seem to be working here for me. So I will, I will sort that out with the author. Uh, and we'll try and make sure that that does work. Um, so that leaves just one thing. That is how to close the windows. Eh, he doesn't really have a closed window button yet. So uh, you hit use Alt F4 in each window. And finally, that means it's time to try five minute multi boxing, baby. Yeah, five minute multi boxing is my system. And. Um, it is uh, not just window swapping. That's the thing. Uh, it actually is centered around this concept of a tune list where you put your tunes, your accounts, and passwords in. You really can just have a tune list that has those five lines in it. All this other stuff is customization. You can customize which buttons, which buttons swap windows, how they swap windows. Uh, there are several different um, rotations where people can can uh, where the the window swapper keeps track of you know which windows to swap to not just swapping one window to the next but a, a turn taking order uh, that um, uh, you know allows much more sophisticated uh, window choices based on what buttons you're pressing another thing that five minute multiboxing does is it logs all the way into the character screen which is really what i need i, I really like that um, I demand it. I demand it for myself. Um, but really, um, the the main difference with five minute multi boxing beyond the window swapping is, I do actually with um, with a simple command in game. I set up everything. I set up all your macros, all your all your um, action bars, all your placement, your heals, um, all the assist. All the assist macros and uh, everything that makes targeting work, everything that makes healing work, everything that makes um, that makes my group actually do stuff. I even ship GSE macros with five minute multi boxing, so you have something to start with, and all of that is in place as soon as you um, install it and um, type slash init in each of your windows and once you type slash in it there's nothing for you to configure you're in you're you're running the game you're 
you are multiboxing. You can multibox in five minutes. And um, beyond that, I, I, you can see I, my guys are still not following. Beyond that, it's not a lot different. The, the window swapping does not feel a whole lot different from um, any of the other window swapping features. Interrupts are no faster in my stuff than their stuff. Um, DPS is no faster in my stuff than their stuff. Uh, maybe heals are a little bit better in my stuff because when you trigger a heal in five minute multiboxing, it only swaps to healer's windows. So that does make heals feel more responsive. And one other thing that I'm noticing, having used all three now, is that um, when you are pressing multiple buttons uh, and you do keep rotational track of you know the 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 window turn taking it does it does make it feel a, a much more responsive for example let me let me explain when you hit the f key okay i rotate through the whole party and give each person an f key okay but if you hit the two key i only rotate through dps two key is a dps key I only ro rotate through DPS. If I, have a, if I have a main healer, I only give him a two key once out of three passes through the, through the, uh, the party. Um, and, and I've already mentioned the healing keys. The healing keys only go to healers. Uh, we would never swap windows for a healing key to, a, for example, a DPS guy. But I don't know. I, it, it could be... It could be all psychological, but I do I do feel like heals were definitely better once I switched to five minute multiboxing. It's it's not going to save sloppy play, as you're going to see here in a minute. But um, I felt I felt more confident uh, with my heals, and um, however, I mean you can you can kind of you know fast forward and rewind through this video and see that. Yeah, here you know what the the DPS is not really any different between the three multiboxing systems, and um, the that that's really not you know if if you're really going to make a choice in a multiboxing system to use, I mean it's really something you can just discount. It doesn't really enter into it. So. Um, Ultimately, the main, you know, one of the main adders for, with five-minute multiboxing, um, if, if you ever choose to do that, is just the fact that I try to set everything up for you. I, I do my best to set everything up for you so that you can get multiboxing quickly. And um, one of the, the, the things that five-minute multiboxing is really missing, and you really feel it, in comparing these three different systems is just a graphical front end. It sure would be nice. Oh, here you go. Overpull, YOLO'd it, tried to survive. I don't think my Demon Hunter is going to survive right now. He's taken so much damage, and uh, my heals were not landing. So um, Demon Hunter dies, but yeah, the, uh, the, the Druid just reses him. I think at some at some point. Now you can continue uh, in, in in the five minute multiboxing setup. You can continue to target units and um, and and continue the fight without changing windows uh, if you want, or you can change windows and you can make somebody else in the party the assist leader using the F six to F ten keys. I didn't even have to do that. I don't mind actually running the rest of the fight if my tank dies. I'm, I'm kind of used to it now. I don't mind running the rest of the fight if my tank dies through my tank's window because they'll all assist a dead person. They're assisting my tank, right? So even if I'm dead, they'll continue to assist. Now, I've got two minutes for bloodlust because of the previous test. So I'm going to go ahead and um, you know kill some more mobs and kind of watch... You know, watch how everything, watch how everything works here, um, and 
you know, you can kind of see what buttons I press. I'm always turning my guys around with the F key. Sometimes when you press the F key, which is interact with target, just a reminder, um, guys glitch out and they start running and they'll just run through the target and you, you got to keep hitting the F key to get them to turn around and come back to the target. Eventually they'll settle down and they'll, they'll stop at the target um, or you can stop them yourself. For this fight, this blight bone, I'm going to go without a spear and um, it's pretty obvious that we don't need a spear from the last fight. Uh, I did pick up the, uh, the shield just for fun. And the shield is something you don't necessarily have to use in, in a mythic, although um, if I get into higher mythics, uh, I will definitely be making use of the shield because it stops most damage or half the damage for your, your party for eight seconds when you critically need it. Um, so here's Blightbone. Uh, we got seven seconds. We buffed with control one and we are going in on Blightbone uh, uh, na, 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 now. Yeah, now. Okay, so I just popped Bloodlust and you can see without the spear. Oh my goodness, what a difference. What a difference. He's, he's, Health is going down much slower without the spear, but we did okay. We did okay. So I'm hitting four and five here. That's burst and AOE to get those worms. And now I'm gonna kind of walk through him. I don't normally do this, but it seemed like a better setup to walk through the back of him and turn around and um, just, oh, oh I, I, did, I did hit the shield. I did hit the shield. So that helped me through the uh, crunch and Wow, that was a short one. So even without the, I don't know, even without the the um, the spear, we did we did okay. Okay, so there is one thing that I have to say, and that is five minute multi boxing also gives you turbo keys. That is keys that trigger on key up and key down on your GSC macro. So that's the reason why you see more DPS on five minute multi boxing is because my GSC macros are going a lot faster. But that's it. Three different systems. Um, all of them are interesting and very, very easy to set up. Um, give it, give one or more of them a shot, guys, and get multi-boxing already. I'm, I'm right here, I'm, I'm, I'm showing off that you can do multiple tuneless in five minute multi-boxing, yeah. Yeah, we know. Thanks for your swipes. Later, suckers.